I'm on Goodwood Road um, in Mullandung State Forest, which is in sort of south central Gippsland, sort of near Yarram and just sort of south of Sale. Um, I want to um, explain uh, how to look for scats, a koala scats. Um, my name's Anthony, I do a bit of work with Friends of the Earth, so we're busy at the moment trying to um, get some uh, better understanding of where koalas are in South Gippsland, Streslecki Ranges. Uh, they're the most genetically diverse animals, a koala, koalas anyway, in um, South Australian Victoria. So um, the best bang for your buck in terms of finding koala scats in the Streslekis, central Gippsland, apart from the coast, which will be Managum, but if you're in the um, other elevations, your best bang for your buck is the mountain grey gum. Um, and, you know, just from the stats that we've worked out, uh, you've probably got a one in three chance of finding a koala scat um, under a mountain grey gum. And so how you do it is you, um, we actually uh, work from a grid system but sometimes I go off grid, uh, off the top of map and just um, I've come to this nice little stand here which I'm quite surprised with. There's a lot of mountain grey gum, uh, a hell of a lot actually, in this gully line in I think it's the Morris Creek catchment. And so um, I'd, I'd just stop the car. And I thought I'd have a look at under some um, mountain grey gum. So what you do is you um, you have to get through the bush and mind your knees. And what you have to do is you have to sort of, it's best to have a, um, a garden trowel. I haven't got one for this little shop, but um, it's best just to scan around the base of the trees uh, for about a meter and um, I found some earlier so I'll just show you what they look like and uh, what I'm doing with this information I'm putting it on a on a GPS map so we've got a rough idea where these animals are it's interesting this site too that uh, there's, a, there's a fair bit of bracken and we found that koalas don't generally like bracken so but anyway I came to this spot here there's two mountain grey gums Stretching all the way up there, and there's this younger one right here. And so, and what you do is you um, look look down in the bark, and then you can find pretty easily if there's a lot of koala, if there's a koala in a tree or one nearby, you'll you'll get these scats. There, um, these are fresh, so they've they've got a greenish tinge. But as the uh, scats get older, they turn sort of sort of darker and they become quite solid. Um, so this tree here is is utilised by a koala. I haven't been able to see it today, but um, then what we're trying to get people to do is take a photo of of the scats in the tree, and then on their mobile phones or handheld GPS, uh, if you have one, um, get the coordinates and send it through to us at Friends of the Earth. So um, any information like that is really, really important. And we think this is a really simple thing for people to do. Uh, you've got to sort of know your, your, your tree species as well. Um, but generally uh, mountain grey gum, and they, and they tend to go for, uh, for the wider bark trees for some reason. They'll eat about 20 different trees. There's some buds there of the Cypelocarpa. Um, and the telltale sign with the Cypes is the seed, um, which I can't seem to find at the moment. You know, there's more scats here. So these are older ones here. I missed these before. So these two trees are obviously being are utilised by koalas. So I'll put the uh, the information, uh, I've, done, I've already got it on my GPS and then I'll put that onto the Streslecki Koala map over the next few days. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple um, and 
The other thing you might want to get is a field guide to trees if you don't f feel entirely comfortable about uh, about tree ID. Uh, it, and it can it can be very tricky with um, eucalypts. Um, but yeah, that's our little how-to about how to find scats under eucalypts. Thanks.